Dukes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I've just passed out to you all the um, labor labor profile report that was updated by the Department of Labor in June of this year. Um, <laughs> quickly going through, um, if you will see on page one, our unemployment and unemployment trends are tracking with the state averages, um, maybe just slightly above on both bases. Um, on page two, the U.S. Census Bureau reporting building permits are down slightly um, in April over April of last year. Uh, page three has our 2022 industry mix, the makeup of our industries here in Lowndes County. Page four the, is the 2022 top industries by firm employment and also our weekly wages. On page five, you will see the breakdown for the technical college certificates, diplomas, and degree graduates, which I think is very important whenever we look at the value of our technical college as well as how that's adding to our workforce development here in Lowndes County. And on page six, the top 10 largest employers for 2022 um, and then our labor force education. And I think all of these lean into um, some of the programs and some of the community challenges and some of the discussions that we had during our retreat. So staff will continue to pull this information for you all as it's updated. If there's any of it that you have particular interest in that we can provide some additional information, do some additional research, I will be glad to do that. Um, also, the ACCG, ACCG awards featured are featured in this month's Georgia Trend, um, as well as Commissioner Marshall and his family are featured in June's Velasta Scene magazine. Um, we have bids going out uh, next week for the animal shelter, some resurfacing, and the jail medical. Uh, then Brixton Road will bid around the 1st of August, and we hope to see the bid ready for the new fire station on the north end sometime in August or September. Um, we also have utility bids going out. It's a north-south uh, connector for water, an above-ground storage tank, which will be on Rocky Ford Road, and the clearing of the LAS. Um, this is uh, the remaining of our ARPA obligation. So I know there's been some conversation at the state level regarding possible possible clawbacks of that funding. Um, all of our funds are, are currently obligated through this process. Um, and then last week on Friday, we hosted the Chamber's Young Professional Group at Quiet Pines. Um, and then we hosted the Georgia Grown Regional Directors. They held their meeting there today. Um, both of those groups were very excited in the golf course and some possible partnerships and assistance for some of the, the capital improvements that we're looking at there. Um, I'd like to remind you all that we will be closed on Monday for the June team holiday. And last but certainly not least, on behalf of staff, Mr. Ornstein, happy birthday. Um, and to you, Mrs. Ornstein, happy anniversary. Um, I sent Commissioner Orenstein a text earlier today, and I told him that we were so happy that he had been born, and we were also so glad that he had you as keeping straight. So, happy anniversary. You said yes, you agree. Um, and, and also, um, I feel like that every anniversary for you all lands on Tuesday, and you end up waiting for him to get done. So, we appreciate your service and commitment to the county as well. That concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Thank you, Mr.